Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Or as they say in Wales, Shamoy, or as they say in Michael Jackson land, Shamo. How's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make your very own ice cream cones from home using just a frying pan. Uh, normally you would use uh, like an ice cream cone making machine, but we're going to give it a go on our own because we're hardcore. And uh, let's see what it goes like, yeah? Okay, so all the ingredients you need are here. If you go, ow, hee uh, hit pause and write them all down. We're just going to get on and make it and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so the first step we need to do is very, very simple. You just need to get a kettle, uh, obviously turn it on, ching, and boil up some water, 160 milliliters of water, and uh, yeah, we just wait. Just wait for it to boil. That's it. Right here, my friends, you can see the steamed up effect there. That is 160 mils of water that is just literally boiled, so I'm gonna pour that into a little bowl, like so. And what we'll do straight away is we'll use the heat, the amazing heat of this water to work and help melt our butter. Okay, so I'm just gonna plonk that in there. <laughs> Michael Jackson style. Grab yourself a little wooden spoon and the butter should hopefully melt through with the heat of that water. Okay, so just keep stirring. Use the water power. Okay, so that's taken about three minutes for the butter to fully dissolve and it kind of looks like a watery banana -y texture. I don't know, but we're gonna pour in our sugar now and that should all dissolve through using the heat again of the water. You like this tactic? So make sure it's all pushed down in there and stir through. Stir it through again for about another three or four minutes and then make sure it's all blended in there. We can let it cool down. Actually, if you feel it there, Michael Jackson, <laughs> that is actually still kind of warm. So we need to let it cool right down after that sugar's in there. Oh yeah, baby. Righty ho, so we're just waiting for this to cool down now. I want you to imagine the effect that we just did was almost like when you're having a, a cup of British tea and you put in the sugar and it all dissolves through. That is exactly what's happening. Once it cools down, I'm gonna chuck in an egg and some flour and a teeny bit of flavoring. I'm gonna just go for basic vanilla, but you could maybe add in some orange essence. That'd be kind of cool. So uh, give it a little bit of a chill, maybe put on a Michael Jackson song. <laughs> and uh, just wait. Okay, let's do the next step. This is cooled down sufficiently. We're gonna grab our egg, first of all. Make sure there is no shell in it. Just pour it straight in there. Boom, white and the yolk. You can stir it straight away now. Give it a little stir if you want. I'm gonna just do that just to show you. You don't have to do that. And then just grab your flour as well. I'm gonna just pour this in in two batches. So there's enough room just to mix in initially. Here you go, that bit in there. Give it a stir around. Don't have to sift it. Just wanna work it all through till it all dissolves through with the egg. And then add your remaining flour. Believe it or not, there. Righty ho, so I finished with my flour and this rather than sifting the flour initially, I wanted to do it at the end with my batter. As you can see, I've got some excess there. I poured it into another bowl and then back through again and it gets rid of all this nasty stuff here, okay? So put that to one side. What we've got is a nice smooth batter then, like this. Add a teeny bit of vanilla essence, uh, like a, just over half a teaspoon, something like that, just to squirt in or we'll adjust it to your flavour preferences. Stir it through and then we're ready to move on and actually start to make uh, these cones. It's gonna be hardcore. So get your pan like this, nice and nice and warm. Nice and nice and warm. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my pan onto a nice flame like so, so it's gradually warming up. I'm gonna get some uh, spray oil, just at, like one or two squirts like that. Not too much, don't wanna over lubricate. Okay, so this is my high tech waffle bowl maker thing. What we're gonna do, once we cook them, we're gonna try and brown them either side, almost like a pancake actually, and they're maneuverable when they're still warm. So uh, I've got my Michael Jackson glove to protect me. What we'll do is we'll drape it straight over the glass, boom, almost like a cloak, okay? Try like to try and hide something. Just drop the cloak over the glass like that, and that should help form the shape a little bit. I hope. Okay folks, here we go. I've got a ladle of the batter here. I'm gonna pour it in there. Keep your prime pan at the same temperature, about medium hot and try and get it all the way around the pan. Move the pan around so it gets that shape there, and then we'll try and cook it for 60 seconds either side. Here we go. It's gonna have a little bit of a pancake appearance to it. I wanna get it nice and brown both sides. So uh, this is nice. Yeah, it's looking good, good shape. Let's get it down on that heat, nice and warm. 60 seconds, I reckon, and then should be time to flip it. Yeah. Okay, so that's been 30 seconds. It's good because I've got a nice non-stick pan. It's moving around, so it's gonna brown at the bottom. If you've got big air bubbles about that coming up, don't worry about it, because we're gonna squish them when we flip it over to the other side. It's all about making sure you get it nice and brown before the hardcore bit any minute. Yeah. 
Okay folks, I'm just about to flip it. It's nice and brown around the edges. It's kind of got a funky speckled edge on the bottom, so I'm just gonna pour it onto a plate like this. Here we go, there we go. That's on a plate, not sure if you saw that. I'm just gonna dump it upside down like that. There we go, do about 60 seconds on the other side. I say, kind of like a funky uh, pancake texture, but promise me, I promise you, I promise me, when it hardens up, it will be like a cone. I promise you, yeah. So a good thing to do when you're doing it on this side, obviously you couldn't do it the first side because of the sticky batter, but you can press down with a spatula to make sure that heat gets nice and distributed all over it. And then it's not gonna take very long at all now. I'm gonna flip it onto a high-tech molding device. A glass, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're about to do the high-tech flippy bit. About 10 seconds left to go on that. Our glass is gonna be the whole key element to this. I'm gonna sit the batter on top like that, and we'll see what we do next. It's very dangerous, so be careful. Okay folks, let me show you how we do this. I've got the glass there and the ultimate shape I kind of want it to be. So here we go. I've got it here. I'm just going to drape it off the pan straight on top of the glass. Here we go. Hold it down with your spatula like so. I'll just move it a little bit with my hands just to get it <laughs> near the middle. And then we just plonk our lid on the top like that. Flip it over. And there you go. You, that's going to hold its shape in the middle, but you can just sort of twist it around with your hands a little bit like that. So maybe do some funky curls on it. <laughs> that it is kind of hot, leave that glass in the middle and that will shape it. Yeah. Okay, so once you're happy with the shape you've got, you can either leave it to cool or plonk it in the fridge with you right now, just to speed up the process. It only take about two minutes if you do it that way. Yeah. Okay, don't my friends, that has been five minutes and boom, there we go. It's out of the fridge, it's held its shape and it's rock hard. That's proper sound effects right there. So there we go. It's not the perfect golden brown finish you'll get by using one of the specialist waffle makers you can get, but there we go. For an ice cream cone in a frying pan, that will do. And I promise you, it will taste good. So let's get Phoebe to fill it with some ice cream and see what she thinks of it. Yeah, baby. Okay, so I've got Phoebe in here right now, decorating it. I put some ice cream on there, chocolate sauce. Oh my goodness, that is good. Just to say as well, if you wanted to use the um, batter mixture once it's cooked, maybe slice it up into a circle, cut a long line down it, you can actually make an ice cream cone thing, which I've uh, plonked in there, so uh, it's kind of cool. That looks good, my friend. Can I have a high five? Yeah. That ain't gonna work, is it? Go on, have a taste then. See what you think. Well, she's actually just going to eat the ice cream, so I'll, I'll snap off some of the cone. Give me some of that. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's really chewy as well. Nice. It's crisp, but it's still got that, you know, that's the benefit of making it fresh. Oh, my goodness. How does that taste to you? Yummy. Well, it's just ice cream, so she's going to love that anyway. Something. You want to show us something? Go on, quick, then. So, yeah, that's it. Play yeah. around with the idea. Oh, my God, you look like it's someone my, from J James it's Bond. My, it's my real teddy. Because cat called mittens. Is it? She looks like a bad guy from James Bond. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. He's nice. She? Okay. Well, if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Be very, very careful. Have a go for yourself. It's trial and error. You know, first time I've ever made this, no doubt we'll get better, but I'm happy with that. And so she, see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>